A new defamation bill in Pakistan has lawyers, journalists and activists up in arms against the Punjab government with many calling it draconian and one that curbs press freedom. Hello and welcome to The Print. My name is Devdatta and to understand more on why a new bill on defamation has caused a furor, let's go to Pakistan. In a session marked by vehement opposition and media outcry, the Punjab Assembly in Pakistan passed the defamation bill of 2024 on Monday amid protests and boycotts. What followed was a dramatic move where the Sunni Etihad Council tore pages of the document in the Assembly and the journalists staged a massive walkout calling the bill a curb on free speech. Earlier, the Maryam Nawaz-led Punjab government had asked all journalist bodies to send their concerns regarding the bill by 19th May. But on Monday, the Assembly rejected all the amendments and passed the bill amid heavy opposition. The defamation bill of 2024, which is proposed by the Punjab Finance Minister Mia Mujtaba Shuja or Rahman and is backed by the ruling party Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz, aims to combat the spread of fake news and misinformation. However, opposition lawmakers, journalists and rights organizations argue that it constitutes a severe assault on press freedom. The Punjab government wants to stop journalists from speaking the truth. The Maryam administration is on a dictatorial path to shut the eyes and mouths of journalists, is what a statement released by the Lahore Press Club read. Speaking to the print from Lahore, Ajmal Jami, a senior journalist, said that any rules or regulations made for the media in a country without the consultation of journalists will be lethal because anyone can be charged under these laws without evidence. It will then be considered draconian, similar to laws passed during the dictatorship era in Pakistan. So what is the bill about? Central to the bill is the establishment of a special tribunal which is tasked with educating cases related to defamation and fake news. The tribunal is empowered to impose fines of up to 3 million Pakistani rupees and raises concerns about the government's ability to curb dissenting voices and stifle critical journalism. The scope of the bill extends to addressing fake news circulated through platforms like YouTube and various social media channels and proposes that the tribunals reach a decision within a six-month time frame. Shafiq Ahmed, a lawyer and a human rights activist based in Pakistan, told the print that the main objective of such bills is to suppress freedom of expression. He added, this act also violates Article 19, Article 8, 202 and 203 of the Constitution of Pakistan and throws the country back to conditions similar to dictator Zia's regime. Opposition leader Malik Ahmed Khan Bachar denounced the bill as a black law, emphasizing his party's refusal to endorse it. Civil society organizations, including the Council of Pakistan Newspaper Editors and the Human Rights Commission of Pakistan, have condemned the bill as draconian and anti-ethetical to democratic principles. The Human Rights Commission of Pakistan in its statement said that the Punjab defamation bill throttles free expression. Defending the bill, Punjab Information Minister Azma Bukhari argued that its primary objective is to combat the proliferation of lies and defamation. She also emphasized the need to hold those accountable who peddle fake news under the guise of journalism, asserting that the law aims to uphold truth and integrity in media discourse. However, citizens don't seem so convinced. One user tweeted that the Punjab Defamation Bill 2024 and the federal government's proposed Digital Media Authority is a stupid attempt at censorship, which is utterly nonsensical, authoritarian and completely against freedom of expression. Others called it a terrible legislative proposal. Women Action Forum in Lahore too condemned the bill, calling it a severe threat to the freedom of expression for journalists and the public nationwide. News International editor Zebu Nisa Burki termed the bill a draconian effort to silence independent voices and expand the ambit of defamation. Senior journalist Jami also added that the government should consult journalists and call for a referendum. He added that only editors and journalists know how to gatekeep against fake news and that it is a journalistic concept and governments should not move forward with this bill in this manner. Whether the Punjab government withdraws the bill or not remains to be seen. But journalists in Pakistan refuse to give in so easily.